what time is it, mother chuggers? It's time to vape on my vape watch. What? This is the world's first vape watch that I've ever seen, and it's from a company called UL. You know who they are, and it's called the Amulet. I'm blown away. When I first got this, I was like, what? How's this thing work? And then I picked it up, and I popped it on there, and it was just, it was like, it was so easy. So freaking easy. That's what I love about it. Easy, convenient, on the go. It feels freaking good. Looks like a smartwatch too, doesn't it? Build quality for, for what you get, for what it's meant for, it's good. And like I said, I can't get over how comfortable this thing feels. It's got this little silicone wrap. You guys are gonna see this in the close-ups. Easy to pop on, easy to pop out, easy to vape, easy to use. It's got this little button on the side. Again, I'm gonna show you all this, but you hit the button, you can see the freaking resistance to the coil, the battery gauge, the time, the date, and the day. And let's say you wanna go vape it. You're just being stealthy, right? People are out there, everyone's looking at their smartphones and their smartwatches, and you're over here looking at your supposedly smartwatch, but hey, you wanna dip in the shadows, right, and take a vape? Well, what you gotta do is hit this button and it releases it. Ooh, look at that. And there's your vape pod. There's your vape pod that shows your time, your date, and all that good stuff. Holds two mils of juice, two freaking mils. Got a built-in 370 milliamp hour battery. That's pretty darn big for a little thing like this. Let me tell you something, man. You can get a nice mouth lung hit off this thing. You can get a nice lung hit off this thing. The automatic switch in this bad boy is sensitive. Sensitive for me. And if it's sensitive for me, I know it's gonna be sensitive to a lot of you vapors out there. And sensitive is a good thing when it comes to vape pods. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what a mouth lung does. Here we go. I mean, that is good. And the flavor is surprisingly hellacious for a vape pod system. It is on the more saturated side compared to other vape pod systems that I've tried. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, not feeding you any bullshit. This is 100. Vape quality surprised the hell out of me for this thing. So yeah, that was a mouth lung. Now I'm gonna do me a lung hit. Great vapor production. The flavor, it jumps up because you're able to take longer rips. And did you see how long that rip was? I think this thing has like an eight to 10 second cutoff. I'm surprised by the vape quality. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, how does the vape compare to the Caliburn? I'm going to be honest with you. I like this better. Yeah, the vape quality off the Caliburn, the automatic switch is a little bit more sensitive, but with this one, I'm getting a more saturated, hotter vape. Now, I've only been using this for three to four days, so I can't tell you how long these coils are going to last. But all I can tell you is the saturation is what's blown me away. Well, actually, what's blown me away, the freaking saturation, the vape quality is just the cherry on top. What's blown me away is the freaking form factor of this thing. It's just a watch. It's a freaking vape watch. I can't get over it. I, I'm blown away by that. You're going to camouflage yourself when you're out and about. I like that. I like to be stealthy. When I go out and about nowadays, I don't like to carry big ass mods and sub-ohm tanks and big old RTAs and RDAs and blow freaking huge clouds. Not when I'm out and about. When I'm out and about, let's say at a movie or at a restaurant or on the streets, I want to be discreet. And this is about as discreet as you're going to get. But when you're done vaping on it, all you got to do is pop it back in the face. It clicks into place and you are ready to go. And when you want to see the time, the battery gauge, all that good stuff, all you got to do is just press the button on the side and boom, look at that. Shows you everything. I'm digging this, man. Really digging it. You will. Did a hell of a job. Now, there are cons for this. There's cons for everything out there. But the idea and the execution on this thing, man, is poof. It's great. Anyways, done. I'm done. I'm done. This thing, like I said, called the Amulet, aka Bait Watch Pod Mod. Oh, yeah. From you well to the close ups. Hey, buddy. So here's the packaging. Your UL Amulet Pod System Bait Watch Mod is going to come in. Of course, inside that packaging, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to receive your Amulet Vape Pod Mod watch system. You get a USB cable to charge that bad boy. Included is an attention and warning card. And last but certainly not least comes the user guide. Now on to what you guys have been waiting for, this Amulet Vape Pod Mod watch system from you. Well, I got to say, man, it is sleek. It's good looking. Looks like a smartwatch, doesn't it? But I got to point this out, man. It ain't even close to a smartwatch. It doesn't have any of the features a smartwatch has. Nuh -uh. Just looks like it. And it feels kind of like it, too. It is a comfortable freaking watch. If you look under here, everything is nice and smooth. It's got this little silicone band that feels so good. It's made of this rubbery silicone material and plastic. The casing's plastic, the vape pod's plastic, everything is plastic and rubber. And like I said, I'm gonna say it again, it is light, very light. Very light, very portable, easy to pop on, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Now, I also wanna point this out. This is the only color option I've seen this far. You will, I wanna see other color options. I know you're waiting for this thing to get popular, and once it does, you're gonna pop out different color options, that's what I'm assuming. But I wanna see other color bands, like red, white, green, blue, even other color casings. That would be cool as hell. Sick as tits, man. But yeah, the way this is now being black, gotta admit, very, very, very good looking watch mod. So up here, you got your vape pod system, right? It clicks into the casing and you got this little button and that's your release button. So you hit this release button and that mother chucker pops right out. And of course, here's what it looks like inside that plastic casing. It says UL, www.myul.com. Everything is nice and clean. Got the little clip in there, right? That's how the vape pod system clips into. And if we look over here on this side, it's got this little indention right for your mouthpiece. So everything fits really nice, really nice and flush. It's even got an opening over here for your on off switch. Gotta say for this being the first of its kind, it's really designed well. Now, like I said, you got your band, right? Got your notches down here as you guys can see. So you pull this mother chucker out like so. Pops right out. 
And there we go. That's a look at everything all extended. Now to pop this bad boy on there, what you gotta do is just, you know how it is with watches, come on. See if I can do this with one hand. Just find a notch. You hear that click? And then from there, you just tuck her in. And like I said, this thing is comfy, man. Very, very, very comfy. Now here's the vape pod system for you, okay? You got your pod up here, your refillable pod holds two mils of juice. Obviously there's your mouthpiece. Could be more comfortable. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's easy to vape. It just could be a little bit more comfortable, this mouthpiece, a little bit small. Just wanna point that out. But yeah, there's your pod right here and it's press fit not magnetic here's a closer up view for you this refillable pod like i said holds two mils of juice got a 1.6 ohm coil in there with organic cotton and it's got this sticker on the bottom to cover up the connection so you don't actually fire it up when you first get it you want to pull that off and of course you got your plug over here your silicone plug and that's how you fill her up get your finger right here and pull her right out nice size hole go ahead and fill that bad boy up you want to tilt it a little bit whoop Simple as that, guys. Now, as you guys can see, it is tinted, and it can be a bitch to see it. To see the level of your juice, I wish it was clear, because you're not going to be able to see this anyways. Now, when it's plugged inside the mod, I'm going to show you that in a second. So, this being clear would have been a lot better. You will. Talking to you. That being said, once you fill her up, you want to let it sit for a good 5, 10 minutes. Let it soak up. Let that cotton in there soak up all the juice. Now, here's a look inside that watch face slash mod section. Okay, you got the connections. Like I said, press fit. No magnets. Here's what it looks like on the back. You got the on-off switch over here. Again, that's the face. And this face can get a little bit dirty, a little bit reflective, a little bit finger printy oh yeah down below you got your usb port for charging so once again guys press fit connections what you're going to want to do is press fit the pot in there once you fill her up and another thing to point out it could press fit a little bit tighter i mean she ain't going to come out on you but it comes out really easy just push it down it stays down it's just really easy to pop out that's my point guys you will make this tighter. Maybe even make it magnetic too. So if you look on the front, you can't see the level of your juice. Now that may be a con of some of you guys. I mean, it's easy to pop it out and then turn it over to see the level of your juice. But when you do that, it's tinted. And since it's black on this side and tinted already, it's really hard to see the level of your juice. I mean, this is in the light, bright light, and you can barely see it. So I wish this was clear. Cause again, you're not gonna be able to see it from this direction. But these are itty bitty nitpicky cons that I'm pointing out. So yeah, this button right here on the side, that's your on off switch, okay? In order to turn this on, five clicks does it. One, two, three, four, five. So it shows your resistance, your battery gauge, your time, and your date, and the day. And it cuts off after about three or four seconds. So you gotta click it, that way you can see the time. Now in order to adjust the time and the date and the day and all that good stuff, what you gotta do is hit this button three times. One, two, three. And you see it blinking? It's blinking on the minutes, right? If I click this button, it's gonna go over from minutes to hours to the date down there. Every time I hit this button, it goes over to the next section. Now in order to adjust each section, what you gotta do is just tap on this section or this section. This goes up, this goes down, so watch. All you gotta do is just tap on it or hold it down and it'll shoot right up. Same thing on this side, but this goes down. And whenever you're done setting that section, you can go over to the next. And the time adjusts in military time. Now that may be a con of some of you guys. It is what it is. Go down to date. Let's go back up to seven. Click it to the day. Let's go down. But yeah, you guys get the drift. That's how to set it. Now to vape this puppy chugger, it's easy, man. It's draw activated. So you take this mother chugger up to your lips and you just pull on it and it fires right up. Just like all these other vape pot systems out there nowadays. Now let's say you're done vaping on this puppy chugger and you want to pop it back into the casing. What you got to do is just press fit it in with a mouthpiece going up. You press it down and it clicks into place. And again, let's say you want to see the time. What you got to do is press this on off switch over here just once. Just tap it and boom, I'm really digging it. Definitely out of the box type of vape. Okay, spanky doggy. so before I give you guys the price point and tell you where you can get it, post a link down in the description, all that good stuff, okay? I wanna vape on it again. I'm gonna show you mouth lung again. I'm gonna show you lung hits again. You ready, ready, ready? Okay, you just gotta hit this button. I love this, man. You pull it out and then you take a vape. Oh yeah, the juice I'm rocking in here is something called blueberry custard. This is my own blueberry custard. And I'm confident enough to say it's one of the best blueberry custards you're going to get right now on the market. If you've had my blueberry custard, you know how good it is. And if you hadn't, go get you some. You can get that stuff on over at Vape Trick. Use code VIP, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10% off of it. And anything else on Vape Trick's site. Vapetrick.com, check it out. I'm surprised how saturated the vape I'm getting off this thing, how hot the vape is. It's crazy. Crazy for a vape pot system. You know why I think the vape is hotter off this than most vape pot systems? It's because if you look at it, okay, go back to the close-ups whenever you get a chance but the coil head it's really close to the mouth hole which means the coil is closer to the mouth which means you're going to get a hotter vape that's why so if you're one of those vapors out there you're looking for a vape pod system that's a watch where you get a hotter vape than most vape pod systems this is going to be your cup of tea one more mouth and lung and then i'm going to do me a chuckified lung hit really 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 satisfying 
Yeah, I like it. You will. Good job. Oh, yeah. Another con I got to point out. This is a biggie. It may be a biggie to some of you vapors. Mine did not come with an extra pod. So you only get one pod with this. If this came with an extra pod, I'd be all over it like white on rice. You will. Include an extra pod with this kit, man. Just do it. And another thing. These pods, they sell separately for like $10.99. Pretty darn expensive. I know why they didn't add this to the kit. Because if they did, it costs more and blah, blah, blah. Because the kit's already like 65 bucks. Now, do I think it's worth it for 65 bucks? Hell, I'd pay 70 bucks if they included an extra pod. Even 75. For what this thing does, hell yeah, I think it's worth it. But all this is going to be subjective and I'm always going to point that out. Rip trippy likey. Banging, banging, banging. Can't get over the fact that it's a freaking vape watch. That vape's really good. Of course, y'all mother truckers know me. I'll post a link down in the description of the site that I know of that is credible that will be carrying it. The key term is will. I don't think any sites are selling this thing right now, but I could be wrong. That's it. That's all I got for you. This is Rip Chippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now. What?